All right, continuing on. I want to look in this slide what we've been taught, or what's generally taught uh, by the church for the last 150 years. Now, I don't mean if you've taught this, or someone you know has taught this, that they're a bad person, or that they're not a Christian. No, not that at all. Uh, but I just do want to take a look at what all the charts and books, when you use, generally when you look up something, this is what it shows. They'll jam all seven seals. Now there are seven seals. I only have six up here for our purposes. But there are seven seals in Revelation, seven trumpets, and seven bowls, right? Well, generally you'll see all seven seals jammed in here in the first half of the week. And then you'll see the seven trumpets here and the seven bowls jammed in the Great Tribulation part of the week. But is that correct? I want to question that today and take a look at this. We know that this is Great Tribulation here in the second half of the week. But if this is Great Tribulation and the fifth seal represents the martyrdom which occurs after the beginning of sorrows during Great Tribulation, doesn't the fifth seal go here? Isn't that when martyrdom is a theme of the time during Great Tribulation? We've also been taught that this is the day of the Lord, that Great Tribulation is the day of the Lord because, you know, awful things are happening during Great Tribulation, so that must be the day of the Lord and His wrath, right? That's what we've been taught. But how can this be the day of the Lord if the sixth seal, which is opened immediately after the tribulation of those days, is when the world universally recognizes the day of the Lord has begun? Remember what the world says when the sixth seal is opened. They're telling us when the day of the Lord begins. That it's upon them. The day of His wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? They're telling us universal recognition when the day of the Lord begins. Okay? So this must be the day of the Lord. It appears that the day of the Lord is not great tribulation because the sixth seal is after the tribulation of those days. So if the day of the Lord is after the tribulation of those days, I would like to know what the day of the Lord is. Because when we read the rapture scriptures, that's what we're saved from. It says we're saved from the day of the Lord and His wrath. And we'll get to those scriptures later on. But it's really important <clears throat> to define what the day of the Lord is and what it is not. Because I was taught and you probably were too, that the day of the Lord is the Great Tribulation. Is that a big error? Oh, that's not a big deal. It is a huge, huge, big deal. So on our next slide, we're going to begin a study of what the day of the Lord is and what it is not. And defining what the day of the Lord is will begin to make things become crystal clear to you, I believe. So we're going to do that in the next slide.